hello everyone welcome back to ebert in this video also i am going to talk about describing a bar chart the question was taken from 2016 new syllabus let's read the question first as you see on the screen the question is the following bar graph shows the leisure activities of some students of Southern Province. Study the bar graph and write a description about it. Use the following words. Use about 100 words. The words are given like this. Highest, almost equal, least, lower than higher than, most popular, and less popular. Right, now we will check out the meanings of the given words in the box. Highest, highest means Vadima. Almost equal, Samana. Ekavage Samana. Least, Aduma. Lower than, Vada Adu. Kampiakaranikak. Higher than, Vada Vedi Ekat Kampiakaranika Most popular Kuda Vedi Purama Jana Priya Ekana Jana Priyama Less popular Jana Priyatave Aduma Right You can see this is a double bar graph Now I am going to show you an answer for this particular question. Let's read out the answer first. The above bar graph depicts the leisure activities of some students of the southern province. The horizontal and the vertical axis represent the leisure activities and the percentage respectively. The highest number of students like swimming as a leisure time activity which gives almost equal percentage for both boys and girls. The least number of boys like to play tennis while the least number of girls like to play chess. It is 25% for boys and 40% for girls. Cycling is more popular than chess among the students and it is less popular than swimming. As a whole, the most popular leisure time activity is swimming for both boys and girls. And the least popular leisure time activity is playing tennis for boys and playing chess for girls. Right, now I am going to analyze this given model answer. Here, as I explained in my previous videos, you can drag the introduction from the question itself. Here we have a question again, first sentence. The above bar graph depicts the leisure activities of some students of the southern province. Then you can describe the two axes, the horizontal axis and the vertical axis represent the leisure activities and the percentage respectively. Pilivelling tirasaha siras rekavan penvanni. Monavada kiela ida pasi apide kiyanda pulva. Then the highest number of students like swimming as a leisure time activity. Sisunge vadi pramania kamati swimming valata. Ilangata pitikiana puluang eka ganama, which dala a leisure time activity eka gana swimming koiva gede gives almost equal percentage for both boys and girls. A percentage checker boys latai, girls latai, the gold and samana. Then the least number of boys Pirimila uh, Maingeng Aduma Pramane Kamati Tennis 
while the least number of girls gahanu lamungen aduma pramaane kemathi chess walata it was a bit percentage ekey an puluwang it is 25% for boys pirimi lamainta saha gahanu lamainta 100 ta 40 ak kiyala now we are going to talk about cycling cycling is more popular than chess chess walata wada cycling janapriyailu among the students and it is less popular than swimming habai eka kohomada swimming walata wada popular eka janapriyatawaya adu apita etenama compare karanna puluwa as a whole e kiyanne samasthayak vidihata api dan me ba chart eka analyze karala paragraph eka iwara karanne yanne samasthaya vidihata the most popular leisure time activity is swimming වැඩිපුරම ජනප්‍රියම ක්‍රියාකාරකම තමයි පිහිනීම for both boys and girls girls ලටයි boys ලටයි දෙගොල්ලන්ටම පොදු ඒ දෙගොල්ලම කැමතිම ක්‍රීඩාම තමයි swimming and the least popular leisure time activity is අඩුම එක හැබැයි එතනදි මෙහෙම වෙනවා playing tennis for boys boys ලට නම් tennis and playing chess for girls girls ලට නම් chess right ඔන්න ඔය විදිහට අපිට පුළුවන් ඕනම graph එකක් pie chart එකක් bar graph එකක් table එකක් හොඳට analyze කරලා හොඳ ලස්සන description එකක් ලියන්න okay then see you soon